Right, welcome. So we are going to do a uh, quick walkthrough of the reports for Section 3. So um, first we're going to do the balance sheet, then we're going to do the profit and loss, and then we're going to be looking at the, uh, the audit log and um, ask my account report. So, so let's go ahead and jump into the reports here. So we are going to go over on the left uh, menu, right? links and we're going to click reports that'll bring up <clears throat> our reports the one that we're looking for is balance sheet so we can see that up at the top on favorites uh, for the favorites really we go down here all the reports are down below you can even uh, do a, a quick find right here on balance sheet right and we can see all the different types of balance sheets come up here when we're doing this so the kind of the main uh, general uh, balance sheet is this one at the top here, uh, which is the same as this one down here, same as that one down there, right? So, uh, so anyways, we're going to click on that one to open it up. Once once they open up um, on here, we have all of these above here have kind of the customization uh, options on top. We also have over here customization, even deeper customization over on the right top as well, right? So you can with this uh, collapsible uh, selection over here on the far right, we can collapse those options or we can expand them. So let's go ahead and change our uh, options here. Uh, this is the quick select, right? For these, we can select all dates, which would pull up all of the um, dates for that are in recorded history, right, for our company. Uh, we could also, as we uh, do this, we could do a custom date. So we see it does pull up data. This is the same data that we entered in before right, on it with our journal entries, right? So that's all that shows up here. We can do custom and we can then select our dates from this. And so we're gonna we're gonna go out and just select dates we're working with, which are January 1st, uh, 2025, I believe. Right, so there's that date, and then we're going to go all the way to um, March 31st, 2025, and then hit run report. Every time we change these settings, we need to run the report to refresh it. And we see here that sure enough, on the balance sheet, it's going to update with that date up at the top there. Okay, so um, yeah, so we have we have our options there. Right, so one thing else that we want to do here with our balance sheet is we're going to customize it a little bit. So we, we know that we already had changed the dates. That's one way to customize a report. So it's super important. The balance sheet, for example, you can take slices of time and where your balance was at a specific time, right? So if I were to change this uh, date right here to, let's say, for example, um, let's go ahead and change this instead of including February and March maybe we just say this is just January we want to know the balance at the end of January really right in between these dates for the balance sheet it's a little different than some of the other reports depending on which report you're running uh, and you see here it changes the uh, title as well right that, we're, that we have there the balance sheet really the the trick is here with the balance sheet is we're taking a snapshot as of uh, a certain date and the end date on that will be super important for the balance sheet. Okay. Uh, let's see what other. We, we, you can kind of walk through these. The textbook walks through all these, right? So you have all your your uh, columns. Um, you have uh, these as well, right? So we can select on here um, all all of these things quickly. Um, so if you do have, for example, if you have any of these, if we had zero balances and just had accounts with zero balances, we could get rid of those. We don't maybe if we don't want to see the zero balance accounts, you know that's maybe not important to us. If it is, then we're going to do uh, active. All would include uh, everything, right? Inactive, active, all accounts. Um, we could also select the period. We could include some different uh, columns in here, different rows um, on that as well. Uh, to go deeper, we're going to click, come over here to the top right and click Customize. And we see that we do have, of course, again, the dates. 
But then we have this, our accounting method. Uh, we have um, how the negative numbers are showing. So we want to flip that over. For example, instead of having uh, the minus sign in front of it, we may do like our uh, this presentation here, right? We may even click show in red or not, right? So it just depends on how we want those numbers to show up on our report. Um, yeah, yeah, and so uh, those are some uh, changes that we could do. Uh, over here on this side, uh, one of the options is we can do non-zero, non-zero on this. That's actually what the textbook has us do. And so uh, that would show there, and then we would run the report again, and then it would show up. We see down here our negative number. Uh, it now has a different presentation, just a different look at it, right? And so those those are things you can do. So once you change the uh, your balance sheet here, um, then there's some other things you can do that we, we can look here at the top of our report. We see collapse here, sort, add notes, and edit titles. So we can do all of that with these um, options here. So for example, uh, we could click on that and it would expand or collapse right so we see that how that works right uh, we can sort things um, on by ascending order descending order depending on the it really doesn't necessarily make a big difference here with our balance sheet so much but it, uh, that we would want to do that but there's other reports that that would come in really handy maybe right um, we could add notes that uh, makes a section at the very bottom where we could add some disclosures or we can disclose some things or add some notes to the bottom of that right and also of course edit titles so we have all of our titles throughout our um, our financial statement that we could alter if we needed to right uh, depending on the presentation this comes in handy like for example when you're doing accounting instead of uh, a for-profit business if you're doing nonprofits or governmental type stuff in here uh, you're going to want to change the uh, titles on some of those things so that's kind of one of the one of the differences so once we, once we have all this set we can do save customization uh, put a new name on it uh, and so for example mine I'm going to go ahead and slap in uh, Mr. Bell on the on the end here um, and I'll put uh, 22 on that maybe on that whatever however you want to name it to make sure you can find it again um, and we can add different groups as well um, and we can share with with our our team so I'll go ahead and save this and show you where it, it went right so we're gonna go ahead and click up here on the left we can go back to our report list that'll take us back to the main reports and then the second tab over right now we're in standard the second tab over over here we're gonna we've got custom reports and we see right there the one on the bottom here is the one I just created so if we wanted to go to that report that customization of the report I could go here and quickly run that report without going in again and changing all the settings okay so another one real quick here let's talk about our profit and loss uh, as a total of a percent of income so that's the one we want uh, that one if we're gonna run that often and use that report we may want to click the star here that's gonna make it a uh, a favorite here for us uh, and so we see it adds it up here see that right there so it adds it up to our favorites uh, we'll go ahead and run it uh, this is gonna be we got to make sure to include all of the dates of course that we want to do which is January this of course the profit and loss is a slice of time right so it's super important to get the right dates on this one and um, so let's see 31 on this I think right there we go so we got I changed my dates on there so I'm able to run that we see yep sure enough and that's really just everything we've entered so far so once we enter more data it'll have the data there for us to look at it'll update our data so so that's what we have so far and again you could after changing it a little bit however you want to change it you could then uh, save your customization a couple other reports that are in in the chapter that we may want to look at are going to be the audit log that's right here um, that looks a little different in mine it looks a little different than what's in the book so they're always constantly updating uh, QuickBooks online 
constantly updating it. So what we have in our book may be a little different than what the current version of QuickBooks Online is. And depending on what version you have as well, you could change the look of it just a little bit. But here's the audit log. This is super useful to help us just see what activity is going on in the system. Um, and you can sort it by, or uh, filter it by users as well. So if I wanna know what the system admin did, you can just pull them up. Um, or any team member, right, that is entering or altering anything in um, in our system here. So, and we can go by date um, and type of events as well. So that's super useful. Let's jump back in reports here real quick. Oh, that one's going to be, so that one right there, ask my accountant, this is a report. So just so you know, there are reports that are available in other places besides this. Uh, typically, you can go here and pull them pull them up. But one is, as we go to the chart of accounts, we can look by account and we can see the activity in specific accounts. And so we have to do that with our chart of accounts. So I'm going down here to accounting on the left uh, menu bar, chart of accounts. And the one we want to look at is ask my accountant. So all the way down here at the bottom, we see over on the right, there is a run report button. So if we go ahead and do that, then that will come up. So if there's anything in this account, it's gonna pull it up and it's gonna allow us to look through it and, and uh, basically reconcile, figure out all those items that we maybe need to ask our accountant about. We weren't sure quite how to classify them or how to do it. Um, we can still put them in our system in, in kind of a, a tentative status, right? That, that we still need to ask our accountant and verify everything with that. So. So that's, that's one thing that could come in handy. All right, I hope this helps, and we're off and doing re reports. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.